All right, so I have a uh, Detroit 6S Series 14 liter turbo. That is bad. I don't know how much you guys can see right there, but it's cracked. So it's slippy. It's been on a lot of air. So we're going to have to change it today. I've never done one of these, but it looks pretty simple. Pretty much this, 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 and then it's, uh, I got to get this uh, drain pipe off. Um, and then it's mounted to the back, so I'm going to have to, I think it's like four bolts that's back there. I'm going to have to take off. So, I'll show you the processes. Alright. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is I lose this one up and I lose this up. So I'm going to take this old piece off. Then I'm going to go over here. And I'm, gonna, I'm actually not here, but I'm going to go, yeah. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to screw this up and separate this right here. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you the process, but it's my first time, man. So I might just pull this off too, just so I have more room to work and then, you know, see what's going on. All right. So um, I just removed the air intake section. So this piece, I uh, pull that off, hang it down there. And then this piece, there's a piece that goes there. That is off too. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this, get that separated. Then I'm going to get this piece down here separated too. And then back here, I'm going to pull that right there. And then, let me see if you can see the four bolts behind. It's in the back right here. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but yep, there are one, two, three, and then four underneath there. Those I'm gonna pull right off. All right, so after I disconnect this, this, obviously this right here, this pipe right here, disconnect that, four, nuts you gotta take off right here it's kind of really tight right there but you got be patient spray it down with some liquid wrench or something screw that off and what i did is i hold it up like that and i left this one last so i pulled this one off at the end so it doesn't fall off on you because it's pretty heavy so this is what came off So this is the old, and the one the one we bought doesn't have that on it, so we're gonna have to put that on the new one. And then, oh, this thing is heavy. This right here, we're gonna have to take that out, put on a new one. That is the new one in the box right there. All right, so, job's complete. Actually, I have one thing left to tighten up. It's this right here. But anyways, that's what it looks like, finished product. Um, it's a little challenging for our first time, but honestly, really, really easy. I wouldn't pay $1,500 or $2,000 to put this on. Um, literally what you pull, you pull that right there, take that off, take this off, take that off. This right here off, drain pipe off. Behind here, there's four nuts that you gotta pull, one, two three four over there you pull that take it out clean it up put your new gasket on and then make sure all your uh, your holes are lined up put it back on just redo the process anyways moment of truth we're gonna start her up all right that's the finished product it's quick and easy detroit series 60 so 14 liter engine turbo just Put that on. Mm -hmm. All right, he tried six to see is working. New turbo in place. 